Hopefully you're doing good. I'm doing good. Let me know in the comment section how you're doing. And today we're going to react to another requested video. This is 12 great inventions we should thank India for. So apparently India's out there creating magical great things that we all use. I can't wait to see what they have created and see if I use it in my daily life or not. So this was subscriber requested. If you have any recommendations of what you want me to react to, what you need to do is tell me down below in the comment section and hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's react together. Hey, hey. 12 great inventions we can thank India for. What were they? What were they? We all know that India is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. Probably the oldest. Super rich culture in history. The oldest. But did you know that some of the stuff you use every single day was invented in this country? What is it? From the buttons on your shirt to the shampoo in your shower. Shampoo? Watch this video till the end to find out what brilliant things we can thank India for. They made shampoo. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications to keep up with our updates. I'm All losing right, my hair. Number one, the zero. The zero. <laughs> People in ancient times had always thought that there should be some sort of a sign to indicate nothing. Right. Well, their worries were put to rest in the 5th century AD when Aryabhata, an Indian genius of math and astronomy, Aryabhata? invented the zero as a symbol to represent nothing. That makes sense. Thank you, Aryabhata. Addition, subtraction, and a slew of other mathematical operations a whole lot easier. You can see the oldest zero in existence, carved in the wall <laughs> of a temple in Gwalior, India. That's awesome. If you're not a big fan of math and the invention of zero seems I like math. Like nothing too important to you, just think, without it, we would have no binary system right. no computers. For computers. How do you like that zero now? Love it. Number two. Thank you, Arabata. Rulers. rulers. The Indus Valley Civilization was using rulers in 1500 BC and earlier. Made from ivory, these rulers were found during excavations wow. in what is present-day Pakistan and northwestern India. That's amazing. Apparently, they were widely used in architecture with pretty amazing accuracy. Look at those buildings. They had units Gorgeous. corresponding to 1.32 inches that were marked with extremely precise subdivisions within five thousandth of an inch. That's pretty accurate back then. Number three, chess. Chess. This all-time top game for intellectuals is also an Indian invention. I did not know that at all. Its ancestor was called Chaturanga and it was a strategic board game popular during the Gupta Empire Charta around 6th century AD. Like the chess we know today, this game had various pieces with different value and capabilities. <laughs> it also had an important king figure, and winning the game depended on the fate of the king. These are smart people creating this stuff. Smart. Another popular board game brought to us by India is Snakes and Ladders. <laughs> the original version was called that. Mokshapad and it was invented by a 13th century poet and saint by the name of Gyandav. Gyandav? The snake stood for vices, while ladders were virtues. During India's time under British rule, the game made its way to England and later to the US. Turned it into shuts and ladders. Number four, plastic surgery. In the 6th century BC, an Indian physician named Shushruta <laughs> created a huge reference book on medicine and surgery. It was one of the world's earliest works of his kind. It's amazing. Shishuta, often called the father of surgery in his home country, described the use of hundreds of medicinal plants and instructions for performing surgical procedures, including nose reconstruction and skin transplantation from one part of the body to another. Smart people come out of India, man, I'm telling you. The original you. method of rhinoplasty that involved taking a piece of skin from the forehead to reconstruct the nose is even still used today. But back then, nose jobs were done to help people who had been deprived of their noses as a punishment for theft or adultery. Ooh, Ooh how times have changed. Right. Ooh, imagine that gone. Number five, cataract surgery. Sushruta not only invented plastic surgery, but also performed the first cataract surgery. <laughs> this guy is he used genius. A curved needle to remove the lens from the affected eye. This revolutionary procedure soon became popular outside of India. 
Patients and doctors from around the world visited the surgeon to get operations done and learn from his experience. The genius surgeon never turned anyone away. He is. He said that he got all his knowledge from the god of Ayurvedic medicine. Ayurvedic. Number six, wireless communication. Oh, thank you so much for that. When you think of the pioneer of radio communication, Guglielmo Marconi probably immediately comes to mind. And that's for good reason, of course. He even received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1909 for his innovative work. But Sir Jadish Chantra Bose presented his discovery of radio communication waves to the public in 1895. He sent an electromagnetic wave across 75 feet at the town hall in Calcutta. That's the impressive. The wave passed through walls, rang a bell, and ignited some gunpowder. Marconi used Bose's invention, the Mercury Coherer, as a pattern to build his operational two-way radio. Bose never patented his work, so he was only credited for his discovery oh, a century later. Give him the patent! 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 Number seven, the USB. Want to master video oh, editing skills in me? We have an ad. We have an ad. Hold on. All right, back to the video. The USB, or Universal Serial Bus, is a way more recent invention than wireless communication, of course. It was brought to us by A.J. Bott, an Indian-American computer genius that was working as an engineer for Intel back in the 1990s. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He came up with the idea of a universal port for devices as he was putting an SD card into his computer. Remember those things? Yes. The device instantly became a huge hit. Bot himself didn't get money or official recognition oh, for it. Oh, come his on! As he's always insisted that it was the result of teamwork. Today, the amount of USB devices used worldwide is over 10 billion items, Woo. making it the most used computer gadget out there. Thank you, the money that's created. Number eight, generated. yoga. Yoga's awesome. Hit that like button if you've ever tried yoga. I've tried it. I have. If you keep practicing it and see the positive changes in your life, then you should thank India for it. Thank you, India. The first yoga guru was Lord Shiva, also known as Adi Yoga. Lord Shiva. People in northern India were practicing this spiritual exercise over 5,000 years ago. Wow. The word yoga was even mentioned in the Vedas, India's oldest sacred text. The Brahmins further developed the art of yoga and documented their experiences in a treatise with over 200 records. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi came up with the idea to celebrate Yoga Day on June 21st, and it's now an actual international holiday with millions of followers. That's amazing. Number 9. Natural Fibers Nothing feels better than the touch of natural cotton on your skin. Oh, yeah. We could have yeah. been deprived of the situation if it weren't for the bright minds of India. Unlike the ancient Greeks who wore animal skins, the Indians Rough. started cultivating cotton back in the 5th and 4th centuries BC. They used cotton threads to produce fabrics that soon became a huge hit in the Mediterranean and beyond. And it spread to the world. Jute and wool also have their origins in India. Kashmir, the finest and most exclusive type of wool, actually comes from the Kashmir region of India. Woo. I don't Number have any Kashmir. Flush toilets. Yeah! <laughs> you can probably see by now that the Indus Valley Civilization came up with so many genius inventions. Yeah, they did. And flush toilets were one of them. <laughs> Believe it or not, Thank you. home toilets connected to a complicated sewage system with canals, irrigation, and smart water management existed in the land of spices over 5,000 years ago. That is insane. Genius. 5,000 years ago, insane. Number 11, <laughs> shampoo. The word shampoo comes from the Hindi word shampoo, shampoo. which means to massage or knead. I like massage. The substance was invented in India in 1762 and was originally used for head massages, hence the name. The first shampoo was made of natural oils and herbs. British colonial traders fell in love with the idea and brought it back with them to England. Absolutely. It Get took years shampoo. for the original head massage oil to evolve into shampoo as we know it today. 
But fact is fact. Fact is you fact. You have the Indians to thank for the beauty and cleanliness of your hair. Number 12. Buttons. I don't have buttons. On my pants this I do though. This clothing staple is at the top of our list. So simple, yet revolutionary. The first button were found during excavations in Mohenjo-Daro, one of the largest settlements in the Indus Valley civilization. Mohenjo-Daro? Again. Over 5,000 years ago, buttons were made of seashells and used as an ornament and not for fastening clothes. But they had two holes in the middle right, right from the start. So, are there any inventions on the list that you can't live without? All of them! Discuss it in the comment section. Be sure to hit like and share this video if you found it useful. And that's a good question. Is there any I could live without? Probably I could live without the plastic surgery. I don't do that. But Kim Kardashian does do that. So I'm um, Kim, wherever you are, you need to thank the Indian people. But anyway, thank you for the running toilets. On a side note, could you invent like a way for me to grow some of my hair back? Because I'm I'm losing it. I'm losing it here soon. I'm gonna have to shave it bald and leave it bald because the hair's gone. Then I won't need the shampoo. But thank you for the shampoo. Need the shampoo, the wireless. Uh, all these inventions are fantastic, great, and very useful. Very very useful. Even the plastic surgery, you know, because sometimes somebody has an accident, and they need the plastic surgery. Then you got other people that just want to change their face around to make them think that they look more beautiful but whatever it may be still needed still needed so very great inventions that doctor that they spoke of the surgeon absolute genius he sounds like absolute genius and we had just a fraction of his IQ the world would be doing a lot better place. It would be a lot better place to live in, wouldn't it? I think so. Anyway, those are just some of my random thoughts and comments about this video. Uh, what's your thoughts? What's your comments? Uh, comment down below and let me know. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And for now, hit that subscribe button and have a wonderful day. Peace.